Hello, hello everyone. My name is Christina and welcome to my crazy days. I am a little behind on unboxing, let me tell you. But I'm doing one very quick today because it's my Succulent Studios box. It came in, I want to say probably two days ago, and then I just saw it sitting there and was like, I need to get these guys out of here and get them in some water. So I've opened it up and the box always says thank you. And it comes with these cool cards here that tell you what succulents you got in there. And then it also will tell you on the back, like their care and how to take care of them. So this box is a monthly subscription with shipping. It's just over $18 a month and you do get two baby succulents in them. They have changed their packaging and I love this new packaging. So it's all recyclable cardboard and the pots that they're in are um, compostable. So you just place these right in the soil and they will slowly start to um, become one with the soils. And you can see how they've got this toothpick right there that just keeps them in place. So I'm just gonna remove that toothpick and we're gonna pop this out right here. And they have recently started adding this hay up top. It just gives it more cushion to keep them from falling out. And I'm gonna pull them out for you. And these are the two that we got today. So this is for the month of August. I swear it still feels like it's March um, for me, but I know I'm not the only one out there. So they always put either cardboard or hay over the top. That is just to help keep the moisture in the soil during shipping. And then they do put rubber bands. So you just pop the rubber band off on them and you just very gently pull the cardboard out. And once again, that is just recyclable. And for these guys, once you remove this, you just very gently pull just like that to remove and now there's soil everywhere so we have a golem jade and this is what it looks like right here and of course it doesn't want to focus there we go so what i love about this guy and i've never had one like this before he's got like these little um tubular things going on in there i don't know if you guys can see it there's one like right here and the tips are this beautiful red so we're going to read up on this and it says it is a bright green shrub succulent with cylindrical wavy leaves tipped in red so of course he does have that red tipped right there they appreciate ooh picky one filtered water once every two weeks i don't think i've ever had one that only prefers filtered water He's got to get used to the way that I water the plants. I'm just saying. Um, so this is very sensitive to overwatering. So this is one that I will put with my cactuses, cacti, I think, it's plural. And because they are sensitive to being overwatered as well. So I will make sure that this guy does not get overwatered. And they thrive in full indirect sunlight. So he might actually go in the house and stay there. Ooh, and never mind, not going in the house. I've never seen this. So right down here on the bottom, you can't see it because my phone is not focusing, but right here it says not pet safe. <laughs> so we have cats in the house and they like to, uh, one of them loves to chew on my plants and stuff. Definitely going outside. I love that they put that on there. I haven't seen one yet that said not pet safe. So I'm very happy that Succulent Studios put that on there. It's a great warning for pet owners. And the second one that's in here is, and it actually looks like they might be switching to this because this is the Copper Sidum. And right on the bottom, it does have the first aid mark there and it does say pet safe on this one. So I am very excited that they're putting that on there now because I do have cats, like I said. So this is what this one looks like. And I have one that's similar to this. And it says it's a low growing rosette with slender pointed leaves that will turn from green to fiery red, orange and bright light or cool temperatures. 
Ooh, I can't wait for this one to turn red because they do get a lot of sun where I keep them at. And it blooms bunches of tiny white flowers in the late winter and early spring. So I cannot wait for winter season. One, to see um, my succulents start to bloom that are winter bloomers and also to get out of this 107 degree weather that we've been having for the last week. So these are awesome. What I am going to do with these cards because I have so many of them now is I'm going to get a, what is it, like a card broker or something um, that I can slip these into and that way I can just flip through them. And then eventually what I'm going to do is go back through all my succulents and mark them with little tags so I know. So if one of them's not doing well, I can reference these cards and I can also look it up online to see maybe I'm not giving it enough water, maybe it doesn't wanna be in the direct sunlight, things like that. So these cards do come in handy and you always get two a month. Their customer service is also amazing. I've had some problems um, where my succulents just didn't make it and you just reach out to them and they will send you um, replacements for them. So yeah, if you are interested, I will put the link down below uh, to the website. I don't get anything from it. I am not affiliated with them. This is just my personal review. I've been with them now for going on two years now and it's my favorite box to get every month. I love my little plants. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button or dislike button. Either way, it just lets me know what you guys wanna see. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It just lets you know when I publish new videos. Thanks for joining me today. I hope everyone is staying safe out there and I will see you all later. Bye.